Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can copy your entire list data to a new list using Microsoft Flow with attachment. In the previous video, we have talked about how to copy list data to a new list without attachment. In this one, I'm going to talk about how to copy data with attachment. So this is our user profile list which we have created and here we have the attachment and this is our archive 2018 list where we have to move the data. Let's just talk about how you can create that flow. Go to your flow section, click on new, click on instant from blank, just give it a name, archive attachment, select Microsoft flow, click on create. In the next step, first click on get items, share open get items. Select the site name. Our site is test. Select the list, uh, our user profile. We do not have any filter. Just go to new next step and get attachment. SharePoint. Click on get attachment, select the site test, select the list name, list name is user profile and in the ID section provide ID for this one and now you have this get attachment, click on create item. There we have SharePoint create item. Select the site name and the list name will be archive 2018 because we have to create item in archive 2018. So quickly you have to just map all these column name, profile, which we have done previously in our previous video person claim, display name, domain, industry, year of experience, email, about, year. That's all set and the next one will be get attachment content. Just type get content. And there you have this get attachment content. Click on your site. Click on your list that is our user profile list because we are getting the attachment content from there the id will be our create item id and the file identifier will be again the id so this id will be actually get attachment file identifier id so now this is done uh, click on add attachment where we want to add attachment, click on your site name and list name will be archive 2018. ID will be create item ID. File name will be display name. Get attachment display name and uh, this is the attachment content. So this uh, data is basically coming from this attachment content section and we have to just map it here. And this get attachment content is basically this ID is working as your <coughs> create item ID and this one is your file identifier basically uh, from where your, you know, this file is coming up. Basically are this one.
the file identity well. That's is basically coming from the get attachment. So the step is basically to get items uh, first of all from the list, and then for each of these, uh, you know, get item values, get the attachment. And once the attachment is there, create item in the list. Once the item is created, now on the body, apply to each item. There is get attachment content, basically the ID and the file identifier of that particular item content, and then add that attachment to our new list, which is here in Archive 2018. So we are good to go. Just check with your flow checker. There is no error in this one. Click on save. go back to here uh, right now there is nothing in archive 2018 we're gonna run our flow click on run flow your flow ran successfully started click on this history one here your flow is ran successfully so that means everything is fine we'll just check in our Archive 2018, you'll see that the data is updating here and we have attachment with us. So I can check it from here whether we have the attachment with us or not. There you go. You have attachment with us. User one that the that means we have the data with us. So that's the way you can you know copy attachment from one list to another list. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.